Whenever we have a lot of one thing, we tend to take whatever that one thing is for granted. Take, for example, the night sky. It's literally always there. Unless you live here, then maybe not so much. But regardless, you never see people just standing around looking up. I want to convince all of you to take some small amount of time to look up and watch the movie that is the universe playing out on the biggest screen of them all, the night sky. When we look out at the night sky, we're not just seeing mysterious balls of light that are infinitely far away. What we're seeing is starlight that has traveled over vast but finite distances through the vacuum of space, emitted by stars just like our own hundreds, thousands, and even millions of years in the past. We've known this fact for hundreds of years, but what we did not know is that many of these stars have planetary systems that resemble our own solar system. Now, I use the term resemble very loosely because, as we will see, many of these planetary systems deviate drastically from the one in which we live. We call these planets that orbit other stars extrasolar planets or exoplanets. And since the first was discovered in the mid-90s, we've detected over 1,500 exoplanets. Not to mention an additional 3,000 exoplanet candidates that need just a little more information to verify. In fact, if you were to go outside and look up at the night sky, it is likely that any star you see will hold at least one planet. Now, the astronomical community has been going through somewhat of a boom in the last 20 years, largely due to exoplanet research. Research that has been fueled by our incessant need to know what is out there. Well, what we found has been unprecedented and has completely flipped our views of the universe. Take, for example, the exoplanet Trace 2b. Yes, it's a rough name, and, and they do get worse. Trace 2b is classified as a Jupiter-like planet, being similar to Jupiter in both size and mass. Now, what's intriguing about planets like Trace 2b is that they were found to be orbiting extremely close to their suns. So close, in fact, that for Trace 2b, one year on this planet takes only two and a half days on Earth. As you can imagine, being so close to its sun, it is also extremely hot. And as such, many of the clouds in its atmosphere that reflect light have been burned away, leaving this planet and planets like it literally as dark as coal. Next, I want to show you Kepler-16b. This is another gas giant planet, but more similar to Saturn than Jupiter. Now, this planet is quite literally the stuff of science fiction because Kepler-16b has two suns. This may remind some of you of the, the home world of a family by the name of Skywalker. Now, it's not suspected that Kepler-16b would have any life because it is a gas giant planet, but there are indications that it may have moons that could potentially be habitable. Now I want to show you just how weird things are out there. This is Kick 12557548. I told you they get worse. Kick 12557548 is a small planet about the size of Mercury, but just like Trace 2b, it orbits extremely close to its sun. Now in this case, it's so close that one year takes only 16 Earth hours. 16 hours. Being so close to its sun, it is also, again, hot. But in this case, Kick 12557548 is literally disintegrating, okay? leaving a trail of hot gas and dust in its wake, very much like a comet in our own solar system. Finally, we get to the interesting planet. This is GJ1214b, and it is classified as a super-Earth, being just a bit larger than our home world. GJ1214b, based on its density, uh, we believe to be a water world, meaning its surface is comprised with one vast ocean. Now, it's not suspected that, this, that we would uh, find any intelligent life as we know it on this planet, but it is a good candidate for bacteria or water-dwelling life forms. Now, what can we take away from this small subset of exoplanets? Well, number one, astronomy is obviously the coolest science there is. 
more importantly, that the universe can be an incredibly hostile environment. And although life may be commonplace in the universe, it doesn't change the fact that we're incredibly lucky to be where we are. We should also not forget that the only reason we know that these planets exist is because of a small subset of our population that never lost the thrill in simply looking up. So the next time you're outside, look up. Imagine planets like Kik 12557548 that are being evaporated by their suns. Imagine planets like Trace 2b that are larger than Jupiter and yet so close to their sun they could almost touch. But more importantly, imagine planets like GJ 1214b, the Earth-like planets. Because as you are standing there, looking up, someone may be out there looking back. Thank you. Thank you.